Sometimes the leftovers are better, and in this case, just as fun as the main meal. I'm Tess, and today I'm making some spaghetti sandwiches with last night's leftover spaghetti. My husband says you can make a sandwich out of anything. Put anything between two pieces of bread and call it a meal. Well, today, I'm putting that to the test and making a spaghetti sandwich. I'm starting by making a Parmesan crisp, and they are real easy to make. I placed a couple tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese on my silicone mat and baking at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 6 to 8 minutes or until golden brown. Let it cool and harden, and you have a nice, cheesy, and slightly salty Parmesan crisp that is great in a sandwich or a side accent. You can use any rolls or buns that you like. I'm putting on a spoonful of basil pesto. I think this will give the sandwich a pop and brightness. On goes a nice slice of tomato. And now the star of the show, the spaghetti. This is spaghetti I made with a meat sauce, and it also has some onions, bell peppers, and mushrooms. If you would like to see that video recipe, I will leave a link here and in the show more section below. I warm the spaghetti in the microwave first, putting on a good healthy serving and do the best you can. It can be a little messy, and it's supposed to be. I have both mozzarella and provolone cheese, so I'm putting a slice of mozzarella on one sandwich and provolone on the other. Baking at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 6 to 8 minutes or just until the cheese is melted. And this is my spaghetti sandwich. Topping with some fresh basil leaves and don't forget the Parmesan crisp. This spaghetti sandwich has lots of flavor. You can really taste the basil pesto. The tomato adds some freshness and texture. The spaghetti really shines through. The melted cheese holds it all together and adds some creaminess. And the Parmesan crisp gives it some texture and a hint of saltiness. This spaghetti sandwich really turned out good and I will be making them again. What odd or unusual leftover sandwich do you make and enjoy? Leave a comment below or even better, take a photo or make a video. I would love to see them. I hope you try and make your own spaghetti sandwich. Have fun and enjoy. If you like this recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Steemit, Facebook, and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!